So this is going to be a quick tech talk video. I'm talking with myself here because i got no one else to talk to. So I'll talk to you guys. Uh, and this is in regards to um, Linux and RAM usage. Uh, when I first switched to Linux, I noticed and I was told uh, that uh, Linux uses a lot more RAM or at least it seems like it uses a lot more RAM than maybe some other operating systems. Now, obviously, Linux is uh, can be Linux can run on very very light hardware, routers, wall plugs, outlets, that sort of stuff. Um, but when you look at your um, desktop usage, you might realize that the RAM seems to be used a whole lot, you know, and you only have some pro a few processes running. And this came up as a conversation in my IRC channel recently, uh, where someone was asking that they have MySQL running and that it's using 500 megabytes of RAM when it's just sitting there idle. And um, so I check my system because I don't really, you know, pay much attention to that sort of stuff. If my system's running good, my system's running good. And I know something, my system, it's using up 800 megabytes of RAM. And I told the user, you know, that it will adjust. It, 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 it seems like it's using a lot. It's really not using that much. And uh, as an example, I went on to a Raspberry Pi I have. It's an older model Raspberry Pi that only has 256 megabytes of RAM. So now if on his system it was using, uh, I think, four to 500 megabytes. Mine was using 800 megabytes. Well, this computer only has 250 megabytes of RAM. So how is my um, uh, MySQL going to be running on that, on a Raspberry Pi like that? Of course, I installed it on Raspberry Pi and it shows that it's only using 30 megabytes of RAM which it may not even really be using that. So what is going on here? Well Linux um, for performance reasons caches, it uses RAM as a disk cache and so it will use up space that it's not really using. Uh, there's a good write up on this on um, a website called, uh, I think it's called linux8myram.com. I'll put a link to that uh, in the description of the video. Check that out and also if you just google why does Linux use so much RAM? You'll find out more articles talking about this. Uh, you can use the free command to see exactly how much is being used. So you can um, type in uh, free dash M, free space dash M in your shell, and it'll show how much free RAM you have, but you'll also have a line that says um, buffer, I believe, or something along those lines, and it'll show how much uh, RAM is actually being used because it's actually caching some RAM. It's not, uh, it's using RAM that's not being used. This is not a bad thing. It doesn't um, affect your programs in a negative way. It's only using RAM that isn't being used by anything else at that time. Uh, so it's not something you need to worry about. In fact, it's a good thing. You don't need to, to disable it. There is no way to disable it. And as they state on the website, Linux 8 My RAM, the only downside to it is that it confuses people who are new to Linux because they they're, they may not realize what's going on. And I mean, for me, like I said, I don't really pay too much attention to how much RAM processors are taking up. Because if you look at your RAM bar, it's almost always maxed out because Linux is trying to use that RAM as efficiently as it can, and which means using all of it at all times, uh, or at least it tries to. So uh, check out, look, in, look more into that again, uh, linux8myram.com, I'm pretty sure is the site. Again, I'll put a link in the description of the video, and, and you can find other documentation about it out there. But I just want to take a moment and talk about that, uh, because it's, it's, it's like, again, I said it's a good thing that it's using the RAM even RAM that is not needed at the time, it's preparing it for use so that it speeds things up uh, rather than it just sitting there not being used. Why would you want to not be using all of your RAM whenever possible? So that's it for this uh, little tech talk. I hope that you enjoyed this. Uh, again, very simple. Uh, if you have any questions, ask in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer them. As always, uh, if you like my videos, think about becoming a supporter over at patreon.com forward slash metalx1000. Uh, and again, even as little as a dollar a month is very appreciated, very helpful. Uh, if if you can't support me financially, you can definitely help support me by um, liking, sharing, comment, commenting, and subscribing to, to my channel. Uh, I do thank you for watching, and as always, I hope that you have a great day.